So part of what I've been doing this year is trying to update the website. A website, of course, is at christmastrees.ces.ncsu.edu. And we have information here for three audiences, not just growers, but also consumers uh, to help them purchasing a North Carolina tree and taking care of it, as well as information for consumers on the industry. There's information for Christmas tree retailers. This is something that Jeff Owen put together several years ago on um, helping growers know how to keep those trees fresh. And then there's, of course, mostly information uh, for Christmas tree growers on production, pest control. This is one of the sites that I maintain, ground cover management, Christmas tree farm safety, as well as Eastern growers um, producing those Eastern species. We also have a link to all the videos that we've developed uh, this past year. And look, some of them are in English as well as in Spanish. So if you go here to the grower page and pest control, that's where I've updated uh, most of my information. Now there is a page for each pest. Um, twig aphids, woolly adelgids, you can read through the list here. I have information about spotted lanternfly, even though it's not in North Carolina yet. And if you go to any one of these pages, let's look at scales as an example. I have it in um, organized with uh, information, online information from NC State University, any videos that we've developed, a photo gallery, and then information from other universities or uh, say the Forest Service or other places that I think is good information. So first I'll have lists of the Christmas tree notes or information from other websites connected with NC State. Uh, then several years ago, I put together these pages like a focus on scale control or focus on aphid control that uh, lists the different cultural practices that affect the control of these pests. But then when you're treating, you're not just treating for one pest, you're often treating for multiple pests. So talking about uh, different products that you can use and what else those products will control besides that pest that we're focusing on, uh, which in this case, of course, is scales. Then I developed these facts at a glance sheets. These are one page sheets. If you click on that one page PDF version that then you can print out and it has photographs of all these different pests. It'll show the symptoms, the life cycle, what biological control organisms are present, uh, how to control them and scout them, important cultural practices, but all just listed in bullet form so that's there in one easy to look at sheet. I have that for elongate hemlock scale as well as cryptomeria scale. The different videos. Uh, Travis Birdsell and I got um, money from NCDA to develop these videos in English and in Spanish on how to make wreaths to avoid shipping scales, how to keep trees at your shipping scale free. So again, there's an English version and a Spanish version. Then with these photo galleries, you can click on any one of these photos and it enlarges so that you can see clearly, you know, these are the cryptomeria scale um, so that you can remember what all this stuff looks like. And then of course, pertinent information that I think is good from other sites. For instance, here with elongate hemlock scale is a map that shows where elongate hemlock scale is found throughout the United States. This is a USDA website. So then again, uh, there's information on IPM. Uh, again, one of these uh, videos that put together with Travis um, and with, of course, Brad Edwards helping us how to use a hand lens in English and in Spanish. We have different focus on pest control, aphids and mites, woolly adelgid, balsam woolly adelgid, and scale. Uh, what you can control different times of year in the winter, March, spring, shoot elongation, summer, and fall. Updated information on what pesticides are labeled in North Carolina. Uh, here's pesticide record keeping forms from NCDA. Calibration of sprayers, pesticide safety. Uh, information about different types of sprayers that you may be using, as well as the link to the Ag Chemical Manual and also this uh, chemical mode of action, which explains the different chemical families 
so that uh, you can choose from different families and reduce the risk of developing uh, resistance. As well as some important information that I think was good from other states, such as Penn State, Michigan State, Virginia Tech, Washington State, Oregon State, and uh, the U.S. Forest Service. So all this information is organized for you uh, so that you can find it easily and utilize it on your farm um, to hopefully do a better job of pest control.